welcome back to Starfire Queen's channel. How are you today? How's everyone doing? Let me kind of fix this camera a little bit here. It's like, it's a new one. My husband got me. I'm trying to get things right. Learn how to use it. I wonder how you guys are feeling today. How's it going, you know? I started to um, do a video on a certain subject. I got notes and everything about, and I can't find it. And I just had this yesterday. So I figured... It must not be meant for me to do. Spirit has taken that paper away from me for this time. But then it gave me something else to talk about. And I have no notes. So this is all coming from the heart. This is for the baby witches, the new witches, the young witches, immature witches, in a good way, not in a negative way, just saying that you're learning. And coming out in the open. Why are you afraid? To come out of the broom closet. Okay, that's going to be the title of this video. Afraid to come out of the broom closet. I, one time, when I actually accepted who I was as a practitioner, as a witch. I'm having no makeup on today, okay? Um, it was hard. I didn't want my motorcycle club to know, <gasps> She's a witch. You know, she practices witchcraft. I wasn't too much worried about my family because they already knew I had a gift. You know, I just didn't, you know, use it that often. Um, and then I realized it was hurting my magic. So for you baby witches, understand your growth depends on your devotion to yourself. And when I say that, I mean it like this. How do you expect your spells to be the utmost spell when in your mind you're having doubt and fear? Fear is the ultimate destroyer of anything. If you have fear, it's not going to work. Now, if someone asks you to do a love spell, baby witches or witches that are still in the closet that have been doing magic for years, afraid to come out of the broom closet, and you're doing these spells. Why you? I hope you're not paying for it. Charging these people. Let me tell you why. Because you're not giving them your ultimate work. Because you're hiding yourself. Which means there's a fear. And that fear is going into that spell. And it's so wrong of you. To take money. And not tell them. Hey I'm still in the broom closet. Do you sure, Are you sure you want me to do this? Or maybe you need to find someone that's not in the broom closet. Because if you're in the closet, you cannot give your fullest devotion to any spell. You need to be doing a spell on yourself to let you love yourself, understand who you are, and be open with yourself and not worry about what the world thinks. We're not getting burnt at the stake anymore. Oh, believe me, I have people that talk boohoo crap about me. I can give a rat's ass. Because the ones that support me are the ones that are supposed to be in my circle, whether it's family or not. My mother was a born-again Christian, okay? Read her Bible every morning, every night, rest her soul. When my mother found out what I was doing, my mom said, just don't open no door, you can't close. I was raised in a church, pastoral license, everything. But I knew, just like when I was praising Jesus, jumping around the church, running back and forth, giving the pastor $100 just to see if I get a blessing. I was all out for it. But now that I've come to who I really am and who my God is and how my God is not an evil God, because to me, I believe the God in the Bible is an evil God because he killed babies and stuff. That's not the God I serve. I serve a very loving and kind God that blesses us. And yes, we will reap what you sow. You will get karma. I'm not saying that the Bible is completely wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But that's another subject. But my starlights, if you're afraid to come out of your broom closet, then stop doing magic. Just stop. Unless you're just going to do it on yourself. Because you should not be practicing spells for anyone if you're in the broom closet. Because there is doubt in your spell. And these people are paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars to these witches that won't even come out the closet. How dare you? 
Now, I'm probably going to get a bunch of feedback. I can give a rat's ass. I'm good for saying that. I don't care. I will do free work before I do deceiving work. And that's what you're doing if you're in the closet doing spells. I don't care how much you cleanse your house, how many black turbulence you got laying around, how many white candles you burn. If you're in the closet, you should not be doing spells on anyone else. You really shouldn't. The spell will be weak, and it can also end up being reversed. Because of your fear, in that love spell, you can make this, this couple break up. Do you realize what you're doing? The elements are around you. Your intentions will go forth. So if your intentions is to do a love spell, but I want to do this behind the scene, I don't want nobody to know. So you're mixing all of your concoctions and stuff. you mailing them a candle and everything. Baby witches, stop. Come out first. Love yourself. Get to know the witch in you. Be proud of the witch in you. Then think about, am I ready to do magic for someone? I don't know why the spirit put this on my heart. I really don't. But I do know it's needed. Then we have those that went to a store and bought a crystal and all of a sudden they become a witch. So then what they do? They go online. They go on Amazon. And they order all these crystals. Baby witches, stop ordering crystals off of Amazon. Don't order any crystals online. Go somewhere where you can be around the crystals. The crystals will call you. They'll tell you which one. You'll feel it. But online, 9 out of 10, you're probably getting glass. And you're picking crystals that may not even, if they're real crystals, it may not be what you need at that time. I'm just transparent. I'm going to tell you the truth. Don't buy crystals online. I don't care who get mad at me. Who got something to say? You know I'm right. You know, crystal is very personal. You want to get your crystals for you. Um, stop, baby witches. Stop breaking your purse, breaking your wallets. Go to the 99 cents to a Dollar Tree. Get your herbs from there. Start off small. You can get the seven candles if Walmart got them for a dollar fifty. You go to the 99 cents store. This time they probably have green and red at this time of year. Um, and white, get your candles, start practicing. If you can't afford them, get you a tea light and watch the flame on that as you meditate. Don't break yourself. Don't do it. But my biggest thing is coming out that closet. You can't do magic in a closet. Not successful magic is what I'm saying. You can do some magic. But your whole intention is not in it because you're hiding it. And you can actually curse someone accidentally. Because if you're hiding it, that means you're not giving it your all. You're not studying everything you need to do because you're worried about people. Okay, I don't care how many books you read. In the back of your mind, your subconscious, you're thinking, this can't may not be right because my family is going to talk about me. Let me explain something to you. When I started doing it, I didn't even tell my husband. I just started. And he's like, ah, oh, got some amethyst, huh? And I was like, because I have my crystals in my hand. And he, he's like, so you're a witch. And I'm like, well, he goes, I know you have the power of discernment, you know, the gift of discernment. I see the negative. I see the warning before the destruction. If you ask me to read you, be prepared for the warning before the destruction. I can't read positive things. That's not what this God has given me. I tell you what's getting ready to go wrong. And it's up to you to listen and try to keep it from going wrong or keep doing what you're doing. But anyway, my husband painted my room, decorated, and he's getting ready to do my second room in the summer and he's helping me do my living room where my whole house will all be about who I am, except our bedroom and his man cave. My husband's like, you, you do the rest, whatever, he doesn't care. But someone asked him, so how does it feel being married to a witch? And I was like, as long as she don't cast those spells on me, I'm cool. And also I asked him, what do you say when people say how it is being married to a witch? He said, if they piss him off, he'll ask him how it is being married to a bitch. He supports me. My mother supported me. She still does. My kids support me. I'll be honest with you. My daughter, she's 
taboo. This is taboo to her. That's only because there's a calling on her she hasn't recognized yet. But she doesn't disrespect my gift. So I said all that to say this. If you let people know who you are, the real you, either they're going to love you or they're going to walk away because they don't love the real you. They love the you they want you to be. Is that fair to you? Is it fair to hide? You know, we talk about gay people. Oh, I thought he was gay. Oh, I thought she was gay. Oh, they just came out. The gay community has finally got to the point where they're like, to hell with y'all. We're going to do us. We're going to say who we are. We're going to be who we are. And we don't care. Those that love us will love us. Those that don't, don't. And you know what? That happens every single day. Whether you're practicing witchcraft, whether you're atheist, whatever it is, you're going to always have those people that are going to talk shit about you and put you down. Stop caring. Because you're going to live your life for others and you're not going to be happy. Your craft, your, your gift is not going to develop. Why? Because you're living your life for others. The gods, the ancestors, your deities, your angels cannot give you what you fully need. Cannot give you all the tools because you're in hiding. God doesn't hide. Look at the stars. Look at the trees. Look at the rain. Look at the snow. That's God. Ashun didn't hide. She let them know. She was on the moon pampering herself. Okay. Obatala. He doesn't hide. Even though he has that calm, sweet spirit. He's a warrior. Come on, you guys. Stop being what others want you to be. If you're going to be this witch, be this witch. If you're going to play with it, play with it by yourself. Don't involve others. Don't read tarot cards for others. Don't do spells for others. Don't do palm readings for others. Don't look into your crystal ball for others. Don't do any of that. Because you're not giving them the fullness of your gift. And you can do them harm. Because you're not doing things right. You can be putting, think you're putting positive intentions and you're so worried about who's going to catch you that that goes into that spell and you can really hurt that person. And karma's a bitch because she's coming for you. Whether she comes as a lady or a bitch, but karma's coming. So I'm saying this. Come out of the broom closet. I put down the broom. One or the other. But quit playing with other people's lives. It's not fair. And it's against all the elements. Because the elements is about truth and spirit. So you want to hide God? You want to hide your deities? Do you have an altar for your ancestors or do you keep a picture by your bed so they can make you feel like you're doing something? Or do you have pictures of your ancestors in the living room and people, oh yeah, I just, you know, that's my granny, that's my grandpa, I just keep a picture of them knowing that that's your altar. Do you think your ancestors don't feel the deceit? Are you wondering why you're not being blessed, why they're not helping you? Why? Because you're worried about what other people say. Do you think our ancestors still have feelings? They still feel things. Do you think, would you deny your mom if she was here walking to earth? Oh, that's just my mom. No, you wouldn't. So why deny her in death when she's in the new spirit realm? My family knows. I come in here every morning. I kiss my mother. I kiss my mother every time I get off of work to tell her good night. I talk to my ancestors. I give them tea. I give them money. I talk to Ashun. I talk to Obatala. I talk to Isis. Because see, I don't limit myself to one deity because there's so many that can bless me. I know whose daughter I am. And like I said, I won't tell that to anyone because that's very private. But I love my deities. I love my ancestors. I know my great grandmother was a witch. I feel it in my spirit. You know, stop hiding. Witchcraft is not an affair that you're having. It's a lifestyle. And if you choose that for your lifestyle, come out the broom closet. Once again, this is Starfire Queen B. You can reach me at on my email, which is S-T-A-R-F-I-R-E-Q-U-E-E-N-B for beautiful at gmail.com. Or you can look me up at Facebook, S-T-A-R-R, second word fire. Queen, you'll see me. Um, you'll see my logo with the Starfire and the stars. You can hit me up on Messenger if you need anything. If you'd like to join my group, look for Starfire Unique on Facebook. Answer some questions and 
We'll see if we're compatible to one another. I love you all. Um, sorry for the harsh words. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is quit playing witch. Quit playing witch. Either you're going to do this or you're not. And if you're not, guess what? That's okay. But know this. If this is really where you are, where your mind, body, and soul is, and you pull away for other people, you're never going to be happy. Never. You guys, keep that third chakra open. Watch the things around you. Tonight is New Year's Eve. Be blessed. Be ready for the new journey. Um, if you follow on YouTube, you know, starting tomorrow, we're taking a journey, a 30-day journey. You're welcome to follow us. Um, you're welcome to look me up on Facebook, Starfire and Starfire Unique. I have two. You're definitely able to get into my Starfire. My Starfire Unique is for certain people. But grow with us. This is not a New Year's resolution that we're making. We're doing a cleansing for 30 days so that we're ready for this year. And we're going to start it on the 1st. We're not starting a New Year's Eve because this is still 2019. We're going for 2020. Keep that third eye open. Watch the things around you. Pray. Ask God. Ask your ancestors, your deities, your angels to show you how to come out that closet or to let you know that you need to leave it alone. Keep your throat chakra speaking positive things. It's a new year. Speak it out there. Hey, I'm a witch and everyone that loves me loves me. And those that don't never did. And I'm okay with that. It's okay not to have everyone love you. Because you love yourself. Keep that heart chakra open for that self-love and to love others. And remember, this wasn't a video to put anyone down. This is a warning. Quit playing with people's lives, doing spells, and you're in the closet. You can really hurt someone. Many, many blessings.